So Microsoft just shocked everyone with its first in-house image generator. Microsoft AI just unveiled its first ever text-to-image model, built completely in-house, and it's called MAI Image 1. Until now, Microsoft relied heavily on partners like OpenAI for most of its generative models, but this time it's going solo. And not only that, it's already ranked among the top 10 models on LM Arena, the online leaderboard where humans vote on image quality. So this model is basically a part of a new wave of Microsoft's own AI lineup. After MAI Voice One, this one extends the brand into visual generation. The company says it built the model around one key idea. Make images that feel authentic, not like the same recycled, stylized stuff we've seen a thousand times before. So naturally, we had to put that claim to the test. We're going to throw MAI Image 1 up against some of the biggest names in AI image generation right now. Google's Nano Banana and OpenAI's Image 1. Same prompts, same conditions, and we'll see if Microsoft's new model actually delivers on that authenticity promise, or if it's just marketing hype. To make it that feel authentic, they focused on data selection and evaluation, making sure every data set actually mirrored what professional creators do in the real world. They even worked with creative industry experts to avoid generic output. And to be honest, the early results sound impressive. MAI Image 1 apparently excels at photorealistic visuals, especially complex lighting, bounce reflections, landscapes, and natural textures. They claim it's also faster than many larger models, which matters a lot when you're iterating through design ideas. Microsoft described it as being built for rapid iteration, meaning it can generate multiple high-quality images in seconds. But that's not exactly what we saw in our tests. MAI Image 1 was consistently slower than Google Nano Banana. We're talking about 18 seconds per image compared to Nano Banana's 8 seconds. The model's already being tested publicly on LM Arena, where users can prompt it, vote on results, and compare them with other systems. This phase helps Microsoft tune its safety guardrail, something the company has been under pressure to improve since launching Copilot and Bing. Once it clears that stage, MAI Image 1 is expected to roll out directly inside Copilot and Microsoft 365 workflow. By the way, if you're finding this tutorial useful, hitting that subscribe button really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future videos. There's still a lot we don't know about what's under the hood. Microsoft hasn't shared details like architecture, parameter count, or training data, but Based on how it performs, it looks tuned for interactive throughput, rather than heavy offline rendering. In simple terms, it's optimized for quick user prompts, low latency, and consistent quality, not massive studio-level pipelines. That kind of setup usually means a tight token-to-pixel pipeline, combined with safety layers that prevent style collapse, where every image starts to look the same after too many similar prompts. So let's do a reality test and compare MAI Image 1 side by side with the best models available. We'll use the same prompt for both models and the LM Arena platform to execute the generations. Our first comparison is against Google Nano Banana, which is on the top of the leaderboard. The prompt we used is a photorealistic portrait of an elderly inventor in a cluttered workshop surrounded by steampunk gadgets and flickering holograms. Both models did a great job. And actually, MAI Image 1 nailed the elderly, while Nano Banana creates the hologram better. What do you think? Now, let's see how does it compares against OpenAI Image 1. One thing we have to mention here is that both models are quite slow. The prompt is, an epic fantasy warrior riding a fiery phoenix through storm clouds wielding a glowing sword against shadowy dragons. Microsoft model did a great job and followed the prompt in details. While in my opinion, OpenAI's image looks less detailed and a bit fake. What's interesting is that this marks a clear shift in strategy for Microsoft. They've been one of OpenAI's biggest investors. Yet lately, they've been quietly diversifying, using anthropic models in some Microsoft 365 features and training more of their own system. MAI Image 1 is a signal that Microsoft doesn't just want to depend on partners anymore. They want to compete directly in the image generation space, and they're already doing it under their own name. If the LM Arena ranking holds up and the rollout into Copilot is smooth, 
This could make Microsoft's image model the default creative tool for hundreds of millions of users. Every Windows user who wants quick, realistic visuals might soon find this model sitting inside their search bar or design app. All right, so leave a comment, hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.